Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So, we have the Olympics going on right now, and uh, they are a disaster, or le disaster. And <laughs> they, they are so bad from the opening game or the opening uh, ceremonies to <laughs> the river being fewer sewage, people getting the, the events being delayed, then things, yucky, yucky things floating in the river. And then people are like, oh my God, what is that? Is, is that a turd? You know, that kind of stuff, right? It's so bad. Then the athletes get in the water and they're getting sick. And then one guy gets out and it's, it's an iconic picture where he's, he's standing up and it's over the logo, the Paris Olympic logo. And he's just vomiting his guts right out. Like this, this has been a disaster. Like the IOC after this needs to crawl into a hole and not come out again for quite a while because they have some thinking to do. Well, the thing, the thing that might overshadow all of this is, um, <laughs> the and it's, it's not funny. <laughs> the, the thing that might overshadow this whole thing is the 2024 Summer Olympics is the Olympics of uh, beating women. Violence against women. That's right. The, the amount of trans athletes is greatly reduced. In 2020 slash 2021 in Tokyo, there was a bunch. A whole heck of a lot of them. Now we have four. One is non-binary and has grew up a woman and is a woman but whatever so it means nothing like who cares and another one is like i i want to i want to be a dude but first it's important that i compete because i want to be a woman it, it, it's it's stupid point is also a woman with a vagina with a a a, a girl's pregnant um Puberty. But then, but then you get the two that really matter is in boxing. And that's ultimately what this story is about. So do like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel. We don't want to bury this lead anymore. It's the Algerian boxer, Emain Khalif, wins first fight at Olympics after being cleared to compete in women's events despite elig eligibility row. As Italian opponent abandons about after 46 seconds. Now I've covered I covered this story a few days back about like, oh my god, this is gonna happen. Well, it has now happened. And it was it was bad. In my previous video, uh we we discussed about how this Amain Khalif has a history of beating up women badly. Like beats the crap out of them, where they hope that they were that they're gonna survive it, that they're gonna get through it. They hope to God, God, please let me survive this beating, and then the serious injuries that they get. There is a story about a young girl, seventeen year old, who was struck by a volleyball in the head. From a, uh, a a man playing on a girls' high school team, spiked that ball almost through her head. We've we've covered that. You can you can find that video on Rumble, and and everyone was outraged. Well, this girl ended up uh, with brain damage and was paralyzed. So a lot of people are are kind of like, what's it what's it going to take? What's it going to take for maybe this to not be a thing anymore? After the Paris 2024 Olympics boxing assault. Marine Callahan is, is calling it an assault. 
Um, she she asks, will a female athlete have to die for this gender lunacy to end? Will a will a woman have to die for this lunacy to end? The 2024 Paris Olympics will forever and rightly be marred for allowing a boxer who presents as a masculine to fight against a biological woman. And yeah, I got to say here, here's the rub. It's not a man dressed as a woman or it might not even be a man that has transitioned to a woman. It might be one of those sticky bits. That is quite possibly what we are dealing with. The, the intersex part of it. And that's when things get very complicated. Because if it's just a trans individual, like that, that kid, uh, the boy pretending to be a girl who spiked the volleyball through the girl's face. Um, that should uh, 100% without a question of a doubt be banned and it should never happen again. Full stop. Never again. <laughs> this one gets a little more difficult, I think, which you should do all the commenting below to, to tell me your thoughts on the, the complexity of it. Because as of all interesting things, this one's not black and white. So Marine goes on to say that female boxer, uh, Italy's Angela Carini, took a brutal blow to her nose before ripping off her helmet and ending the match in just 46 seconds. Her rival, the Algerian Amain Khalif, towered over her, biceps bulging. This is true literal man arms. Khalif failed two sex tests in March 2023 and was banned by the International Boxing Association for competing against women. This is unjust, Karini howled. Yes, that's the perfect word, unjust. So that's most of the, the details about it, that she won the first bout in 46 seconds after Karini abandoned the match some very serious blows to the head that really you could you could just I'll, I'll play the vi uh, the video it cranks her head like right like this and then you could see she was like I can't I can't survive that kind of onslaught because that's not the biggest and that's not the best this person has to offer I won't survive it Karini was punched twice by Khalif in the opening round of their women's welterweight bout in Paris. The blows appeared to knock off the Italian boxer's chin strap with the fighter moving over to her corner. Karini returned to the center of the ring and abandoned the bout, leading to Khalif being declared as the winner. The Italian boxer who claimed before the fight that she could only adapt to the rules of the Olympics was then seen crying in the center of the ring following the abrupt conclusion of the bout. And, and it's this photo here that on, on screen. She shouts like she's crying. And she shouts, this is unjust. And I mean, on the one hand, yes, it is unjust. Absolutely. But on the second hand, you know, Grift recognizes Grift. Um, you could tell that she specifically got into the middle of the ring, made sure the cameras were looking, did her thing, and then sort of watched the cameras as she was getting out. She knew what she was doing. She was making a big PR point. And I, I guess good on her for that. This needs to be a story. You know what I mean? I went into the ring to fight. I didn't give up, but I but the punch hurt too much. And so I said enough, Green, he said post-fight. I'm leaving with my head held high. I mean, if she would have continued with that fight, she would not have left with her head still attached. The Leafs' participation in the event has been a source of controversy, having been disqualified from the Women's World Boxing Championships last year. The Olympic uh, website noted that Khalif had been disqualified hours before a gold medal bout against uh, China's Yang Liu in New Delhi after her elevated levels of testosterone failed to meet 
the eligibility criteria. The Algerian Olympic Committee, the COA, hit back by claiming that disqualification was part of a conspiracy to stop them from winning a gold medal and said medical reasons were behind the high testosterone levels. So they might be uh, sort of alluding to her being intersex or DSD, which is the difference of sexual development. So now that this has happened, <clears throat> now that this has happened, the Olympic Committee has released a, a statement after biologically male boxer destroyed a female. Um, so Olympic bo bosses dramatically doubled down on their decision to allow two boxers who failed the gender test to compete in Paris after the opponent of one withdrew. Again, 46 seconds after having her face punched in. So this event was basically condemned by Italy's prime minister, who is a strong woman, and by the UN's women's welfare official. But the IOC hit back and said it was discrimination and that they were victims of a sudden and arbitrary decision by the IBA who tested them and ruled them ineligible to fight. So the IOC is effectively is righting that wrong of injustice. It's like, dude, bros, IOC bros, you're letting women get punched in the face by lunchboxes. Like, the fists are like lunchboxes. Like, what are you doing? We, we had this once in the UFC when Fallon Fox broke a woman's skull. The IBA were boxing's governing body who oversaw the world championships but had their status stripped by the IOC over governance issues and alleged corruption. As a result, the IOC have taken over running of boxing in the games and the eligibility of the rules surrounding it. That's why all the other sports are fine. Because all the other world bodies of, of sports, swimming, cycling, yada, 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 they've, they've sort of handled all this trans business. But the IOC, the very woke IOC, they're running boxing because they feel the, the, the world body of boxing is just not up to the job. So, of course, you get these shenanigans. So, the. IOC basically said, listen, their passport has female on it. What do you want us to do? They checked that box. That box is it. What do you want us to do? They got a passport. It says female. Every person has the right to practice sport without discrimination. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> they're, 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 they're doubling down. It's, but. The world sees it like this. So up top, we have the, the classic South Park episode of uh, macho man identifying as a woman, beating women, and then what we witnessed. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the it's the same thing. So it it is disappointing that Angela Carini she did arrive at the Paris Olympics to honor her late father. I guess she lost him just after the Tokyo Olympics, and she wanted to go there. You know, win it for dad, which is always a lovely thing. Being a father, uh, it's always nice to hear kids want to win it for dad, and um. Uh, you know, it is sad that, you know, she lost in such a... The main Khalif left rival thanking God for escaping horrific injuries in 2002 fight with biological male, now sparking huge Olympic gender row. So, yeah, as I said earlier, this this was her um, main Khalif's 2002 fight where she beat a woman nearly to death. She says, when I fought her, Khalif, I felt very out of my depth. Her blows hurt me a lot. I don't think I'd ever felt like that in my 13 years as a boxer, nor in my sparring with men. 
thank God that day I got out of the ring safely. And it's good that they finally realized. By that part, she means um, them being banned from international competition. IOC was like, nope, we're going to undo that little bit. All right. So the thing, the thing is, what what is DSD? That's that that's the the thing about this video. The condition at the heart of the Olympic boxing controversy and the Amain Khalif bout. So it's not as simple. Like a lot of people, if you watch my friend Jeremy Hambly of the quartering, he'll he'll make it like he's got a video about this. He makes a black and white, being like, if you're a man, it's a no. If you're a woman, it's a yes. It's easy. You obviously got a dick, so just pull them pants down and drop that wang, and we can all see it. And it's it's not like that. At least we suspect it's not like that. So differences in sex development or DSD or intersex um, have become a central point of controversy at this year's Olympics. After biological male Algerian boxer Main Cleave beat an opponent in the women's boxing event. Leaf hasn't yet commented on the subject, but speculation abounds that she has a, a, a rare condition, DSD, that affects only 0.05 and 1% of the population. So more of one's sex than the other, but it's still 1%. Like super itty bitty tiny. Like so much so that it is the rarest of rare example. It's such an extreme example. But because that it makes because that because it makes women super women we are going to see that more in the olympics because we're dealing with super athletes if that makes sense also called intersex conditions dsd can result in outwardly female individuals having male chromosomes or anatomy so imagine a woman an actual woman give her breast vaguely give her a vagina but inside, there's male plumbing. And you're like, what? That doesn't make sense. Yes, I know. Nature is, nature is weird. Nature does weird things sometimes. DSD is an umbrella term for 40-plus individual conditions which develop in the womb. For example, a person can be born with female genitalia but have the XY chromosome, um, typical of males, as well as hidden internal testicles. They're hidden. They're just kind of tucked up all the way up in there where nobody really notices. Kind of like Canada. Just tucked away. They give people unusual combinations of chromosomes and reproductive organs, which in the context of sport can boost their performance. So it makes them like a Spartan woman, an Amazonian woman. And they're like, well, I, so they grow up a woman. They have a vagina. The, the doctor pulls them out flaps their ass, and they go, huzzah, it's a girl. But, and we know that because of the lady garden. And unbeknownst to anybody, there's, there's two little testicles on there that are, that's going to boost performance. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make the muscles stronger. They're, they're going to fire better and harder and faster. The, the, the bones will be denser. They're going to be an Amazonian woman. For example, an athlete may be born with female anatomy, but have a DSD which boosts her level of testosterone, a hormone critical to building muscle and strength. Not just for men, but for women, testosterone is wonderful. Although women shouldn't have too much of it, that. While DSDs are spotted at birth, while many are spotted at birth, some only come to light in puberty or as a result of a medical operations and tests and even autopsies so yeah i mean sometimes it's like it's just like the the genitals are kind of like they're kind of one way but also kind of the other way and then you're like uh, i don't know what this is want to take a guess and then sometimes you guess wrong sometimes you guess right i mean it's it's 50 50 other times you're like, no, it's this, this, this is a, this is a, this is a girl, and it's got, got two nuts, two nuts just hidden away, <laughs> like a squirrel forgot them or something. <laughs> uh, in some cases, athletes have only learned they have DSD during pre-competition medical tests, which have led them to being disqualified and ending their dreams of representing their country. So, an Olympic gold medalist, Semenya, has. Um, 
a DSD called 5 alpha reductase deficiency, which means she has the male XY chromosomes and produces higher levels of testosterone than a normal woman. This DSD can occur in people with female reproductive anatomy and genitalia. So she has all the all the lady bits. All the lady bits. But she's also got a couple of nuts in there too. Which again makes her makes her, you know, here she is on screen. Makes her stronger, faster, athletically better than any other woman. So that's um that's where it gets tricky. That is where it gets tricky. So what do we do? My beautiful, fresh smelling viewers. What do we do with these individuals? I mean, I, I think it's pretty easy. If, if you're a man pretending to be a woman or whatever, like we see in all these other sports, then I think the Olympics maybe is not right for you. You know what I mean? Um, but. What, what do we do with the extreme examples? What do we do with women that have vaginas? Like, a lot of people go like, what's a woman? They have a puss. Like, it's not so clear sometimes. They're, they're women, but they also have the testicles in there. Just like, like a squirrel forgot the nuts. They're just up, up in that oak tree. They're tucked away, giving all the... All the athletic boosts do they compete do they not compete like what do we do with them on the one hand it's kind of unfair for all the other women wholly unfair but then on the other hand they are women so they should compete with the women they would be annihilated if they competed with the men but then you say well maybe they don't compete at all well that's just that's just unfair for for the individual and for sport. I don't know. I think it's I think it's tricky. I think it's tricky. That's why I defer to you, good smelling viewer. Anyways, that's this video. Thank you for watching. It's a little bit longer, but uh, it it's uh it's a big topic. It's a tricky topic and I love you all. Do subscribe to me on uh YouTube, on X and on Rumble at Third Railify, but Rumble is the best place to do it that cuz my my Channel's future is mostly going to be Rumble. I'm not monetizable on, on YouTube, so I'm not long for this world. Kind, they kind of hate me. They kind of hate me. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Peace. <laughs>